that day, we wrote a song about a bar I'd never been to, but a story that I had been through. This bar changed my life before I ever walked in the door. I know you've probably heard me tell the story many times, but one of the, one of the other writers from this song is, is in this room. Um, Jesse Rice, would you tip your hat, please? Y'all, this is the first day I was gonna meet Jesse. I'm good. Thanks. Oh man, I would like to know what events transpired leading up to Jesse dropping his phone in the toilet. This it causes everything. What happened? How did he drop his phone? Thank God he did. We had been set up to write. Uh, her publisher, my publisher. I both thought we'd get along. The day before we were writing, it was one of my buddy's 30th birthdays. We were having a good time. I was in the bathroom and my buddy comes in and tackles me while I was holding my phone while I was peeing. And the freaking phone falls in the toilet. It fell way deep down in the hole. And I was like, I'm not going to get that. I wouldn't have gone after it either. I wouldn't go after a toddler in a toilet in a bar. <laughs> it's the last I saw the phone. And I'm like, damn, I got this right with this up and coming artist tomorrow. <laughs> It was Nicolette Hayford and I were sitting in a room about this size. In comes Jesse, completely disheveled. Four strings on the guitar or something. His sunglasses were missing a lens. He hadn't noticed. They were still on his face. I was like super embarrassed. I must have seemed like just some hurricane walking into like, what is wrong with this guy? This guy thinks he can just show up late to this go right? Oh, what an asshole. And he said, girls, I dropped my phone in the toilet at the at Tin Roof last night. I didn't have access to my calendar. I didn't know who I was riding with, where I was supposed to be riding. Ashley and Nicolette were just like, dude, are you all right? Do you wanna maybe not write and just like get to know each other and we can go get a case of beer and just hang out if you'd like. And I was like, that sounds great. Let's do that. So while we're sitting there and he's explaining how wrong his night went, we were also discussing Nicolette's latest heartbreak, which was pretty raw still. And so we just all started complaining and noticing that we had plenty to complain about. A couple beers in, you get philosophical, right? And it's like, well, what was the worst day you ever had? And I was like, well. I was driving back from Atlanta to Nashville and my truck broke down and this was the closest place they could basically take my truck to get it serviced. He winds up in Dahlonega. What do you do when your car lets you down? You go get a beer. So he walked into the Crimson Moon. My waitress was telling me, hey, we were also a live music venue. If you don't have anything to do tonight, please come check us out. So I asked who was playing and she said, Sean Mullins. And I was like, Sean Mullins? Like, rock a -bye Sean Mullins? Like, every <laughs> Well, then I'm in. Directly after I'd watched Sean play, I ended up talking to him right outside, basically where that bus is parked right now. And he sees a girl, and they chit-chat. Bumped into her outside as I was talking to Sean. And we started talking. <laughs> I ended up meeting the woman who would become my wife. What started out as the worst day of his life winds up being a pretty historical event. So in the song, a pretty little blonde thing is looking your way. It is literally Jesse's wife that we're referencing. I'll never forget them being like, what was the name of that town again? And I said, Dahlonega. <laughs> and they're like, that is so weird, but it's so cool. <laughs> we gotta use that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Jesse telling us this about his, the worst day that he had ever had and each of the three of us having had, he had had a crappy night the night before. I wasn't having a great day. Nicolette was not having a great day either. And that just, it all kind of rhymed when we sat back and looked at it. I had come in with the idea, here's to the breakups that didn't break us. Normally when Nick had a heartache at the time or when I had a heartache at the time, we would console one another. And um, I was like, we should write something close to that. Nicolette is a powerhouse lyricist and some of the verse lyrics that she just immediately threw out. I think all three of us in the room were looking at each other like, oh, okay, this is, 
This is some next level shit. You feel like a song is special initially when you first write it anyway. I like to give it overnight or two nights. And I knew when it was still stuck in my head that this song was special. And then it would become my first single. And then it would change my entire life. This place is just wonderful and magical. And I know that initially Miss Dana, when when she heard it was, we were referring to this as a dive bar. She's like, I don't know if I would call it a dive. And I had to kind of explain, it's a compliment. It means the beer is cold and the burgers are hot and the people are friendly. This is a linchpin of this community. I can think of no better way to send it out than Ashley being here with her fans and people from the community coming to this venue to see Ashley and McBride to sing a little dive bar in Dahlonega at the little dive bar in Dahlonega. I think tonight I will probably add something. If I can do it without tearing up, I'll add something about you have a job to do. And the job is to make sure this place closes. Stop it. Like it or not, this place has everything. Oh, look at that. That's so much more. It has everything to do with everything. No, no.